Okay, we're taking hydrometer readings today. Looks like it's reading. As soon as I get to spin around. 1.018. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, okay, so pour some of this in a shot glass and see what we got here. And I'll get the hydrometer out of there. I've got one of those new thieves like Joe has, Trips of Korea Kid, and uh, but I wanted to taste this, see what it tasted like rather than put it all back in there. Smoke is definitely there. Wow. If you like smoked beer, which I do, that's going to be really, really good. So I'll plug in the numbers and I'll let you know what the uh, alcohol content is on this. 105 something maybe to begin with. I don't know. I'll plug in the numbers on to know. The carbonates is gonna be awesome. I love smoked beer. That's right around. It's 0.020. And this is this is supposed to be the black ale and stuff as far as color is concerned. Oh, Bear Smith said it was on. Uh, I'm not satisfied with the color. I wanted something much darker than this. It's not bad. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a nice color, but it's just it was not what I was aiming for at all. So let's see, taste wise, what this tastes like. Very mild. That'll be an easy drinker. So like I said, the color is not what I was aiming for at all. I wanted something with a uh, much darker color to it. This isn't it. But it will be, it'll be a very nice drinking beer. But, color's off, but when the when the calculator tells you that it's good <laughs> and it's within standard, which it may be, but it's not what I I wanted that closer to that. <laughs> but it'll be good drinking. Very very mild. So anyway, just a little update, and I'm going to also check uh, check my wine and see what it's doing. So later. Okay. Here's the wine. Give you an idea of the, the color of it. Let's go ahead and drop some of this in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go get some more. Be right back. All right, let's fill this the rest of the way up. You know, let's see from the looks of that. Just about bottom, totally bottomed out on that. Because I know to begin with, it was one, one like one point oh. 8.3 or something like that. 8.6. And we're like, I'm not. <laughs> we're at the very top of the hydrometer. I don't know if I can get you zoomed in on this or not. Let's see. It's like, look. We're at the very top of that. So I would say... 
yeah, whatever is in there was in there as far as sugars is completely gone. Hmm. Yeah, so let's try to sample this. And I have not put any findings in this. There's nothing, I have not put anything in there to clear this up. And you can see, it's already still pretty clear. I really haven't done anything. I'm just going to sample a little bit of this because somebody else is going to want some when they get home. So we'll save a little bit of that. You probably can't really see. There we go. We'll go through that. See how clear that is? Let's let's take a sample. See what it tastes like. It smells like wine. It's very dry, but then I knew it was going to be so. It's like a very dry uh, rosé or blush style. But I knew with these Concord grapes it was going to do this. So I'm actually going to have to uh, like put the Camden tablets in here or whatever to kill what's left of the yeast off. And then I will back sweeten on this wine. So it's good. It's full of alcohol, I would say, from the taste of that. Let's have another sample because you can just never be too sure. Let's try some more. The rest of that I'll save for the other half. I'll give you readings on all these here in just a little bit. I'd say the alcohol is about 11 to 13 percent on this. At least. So, anyway, let me plug all the numbers in and I'll let you know where we're at on the alcohol content on all these.